of Sanguine. In any city, in any country, go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself into. When you reach the front desk, ask to visit the one who calls themselves the Holder of Sanguine. The worker will throw their head back and laugh as if they just heard a really good joke. Wait patiently. Do not show any emotion. They will then lead you down a corridor that replaces where the windows should have been. The wall of the corridor will be splattered with blood and have warnings of death carved next to the trails of dragged fingernails. You will hear a child happily singing, but the lyrics speak of grotesque murders and horrible bloodshed. If at any point the singing should cease, stop, and quickly yell, I mean you no harm. If all remains silent, close your eyes and prepare to be tortured for eternity by the demons that are born from spilt blood. If the singing picks up again, continue until the worker stops and unlocks the door. He will then run away, leaving you alone. Open the door, and then quietly shut it behind you. You will enter a realm where the sky is the color of blood, and floating pieces of rock are what make the ground. You will be greeted by a small girl in a white dress. She will appear to be grinning happily, but tears will be flowing from her eyes. Her dress is splattered with blood. But focus on her eyes, for she is not a little girl at all. Her eyes are the color of blood, and her smile reveals her sharp fangs. And if you break eye contact, she will sink her teeth into your neck. And if you're lucky, you'll die, and not become her eternal slave. She will then tilt her head to the side and ask you with an innocent smile, Will you feed them with your blood or your soul? Say nothing except, I wish to know if they can bleed. She will smile if you ask the right question, and then she tells you all the gruesome things people have done with them, for them, and without them. Close your eyes, and you will see every murder and rape she speaks of, and upon inspection you will notice she is watching every one of them from somewhere in the shadow. Open your eyes once the visions have stopped, and the floating rocks will all now be connected by stairs and pathways. The girl will already be walking down the path. Follow her until she leads you the highest rock in the sky. There will be a fountain in the middle that contains, instead of water, blood. She will then ask you to reach your hand into the fountain. Do so, and you will eventually find a dagger decorated in blood rubies. She will then ask you to end her life by cutting out her heart. Do so quickly, or you will end up replacing her. Once you have cut out her heart, the ground beneath you will begin to crumble, and you will begin to fall into what appears to be a void. You must then stab yourself in the heart and close your eyes. Endure the pain, and when the pain disappears, open your eyes again, and the dagger will be gone, and the heart will still be there, pulsating on its own. Once it stops beating, rip it out with your bare hands, and pull out a small envelope that is sealed with red wax. This small envelope is object 263. Or 538. Should it be opened, the moon will be dyed red, 